to the Fertile Crescent Bio, where the mm. grass is always greener. Today at the world's most advanced greenhouse, meet me, Maggie Monday. That will be important later. Some folks go for is everything satisfactory, Miss Monday? Yes, Sonny. Uh, sure you don't need anything? Uh, a cold drink? Uh, no. A cigarette? No. Foot massage? Oh, I'm... what? No, nothing. Uh, never mind. You're a nice man, Mr. Skegness, but don't you have better things to do than make passes at your employer's mother? I'm just doing my job, Miss Monday. Andrew asked me to look after you, and I'm going to make sure uh, nothing unseemly happens on this uh, wonderful... Uh, Sunny. Fabulous. Sunny. Huge. <laughs> Eyes up here. Day. Get <laughs> 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 Better come with me, Miss Monday. This doesn't look like a safe place for you. Perhaps we can go back to my place. Nice try, Mr. Skegness! Oh, That's weird. Hold up. Um, settings. Video and audio. Help notes, yes. Green effects, yes. Turn that on. Subtitles, put those on. Let's brighten it up a little. There we go. Din, 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 din. Right there! I'm bringing you- uh, 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 oh, bring anyone, anyone. Uh, That was an instant transposition. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my. Hmm. Indeed. This isn't funny! Two on the next! Sit down! There's only a few of you just shooting at me, I should be fine. You undead fiend! I'm gonna eat you first, because you don't have a gun. It's chewing my brain! Mmm, tastes like science. Get away from red. Ow! Kidding me! My brain! You zombie master! I'll show you what for! I kicked my teeth. Don't fuck You're me. killing me! Hold it right there! Oh my god. I'm bringing you in! Not in the food! Mother. I see a zombie. <laughs> you know, they've got you. There's another one. Uh, Enemy way. <laughs> I 
opened. Zombie! What area? Over there! Oh. No! No! Uh, do you see what I see? <laughs> One of the things that was also important from a, a story and just kind of player motivation standpoint in this level was initializing the chase between Stubbs and Maggie. And, uh, you know, hopefully that once the, the player sees Maggie, he falls so deeply in love with her, just like Stubbs does, that he's propelled to complete the entire game and then tell his friends to do so as well. <laughs> All right. So they had a set goal when they made the game, like most developers. And then they had side goals. I see one of them! Gotta get on the other side. Guess it makes sense, any revenue is good revenue. Nice! That's a hip, is it? No, it's a flat. or whatever I missed. What's that? Don't worry about it. Please! Not the throat! Oh. Humans don't normally do that! Don't worry. Also, uh, just because some people might not, uh, it, it may not be the most obvious thing in the game, uh, you might be wondering why Skegness and his, his men are dressed up like a barbershop quartet. Uh, the <laughs> reason is that Skegness and so on. They are, uh, Skegness is the head of Monday's internal I'll security show team. You hard science. Monday doesn't really want to walk around with the goon squad all the time looking like the Secret Service. He feels that gives the wrong image. So he has them in uh, incognito, in disguise. And as you can tell by looking at these six foot six, 250 pounds of solid muscle guys, that works out really well. Because uh, most barbershop quartets are pretty buff. That's true, true. And uh, they, they, they can, in fact, carry a mean tune, uh, unlike many steroid abusers. Uh, they, <laughs> they, can, they can sing like angels. Indeed. Why, hello there! It's me, Guidebot! Remember me from the plaza? Are you sure that hole in your side doesn't bother you? Because it bothers me, I can see all those internal organs slurping around in there. And smirking. Oh, wait, probables. Hey, come on! Wasn't that your pancreas? No, oh, well, suit yourself. Something like that. A zombie, right there. Yeah. We'll try and around you. Open up there. <laughs> More curious about hidden items than also like this game. Hey! Oh, stop you. choking me! That is a terrifying level. Yeah. Your brain eating and also fucking chirping at the same time. Yeah. Oh, oh mother! Oh. I'll show you what for! Yeah. Which <laughs> Come along, fellas. I'm looking. 
fucking forehead. Chill us off. the wind. Fuck. I know it's not gonna work. These guys are smarter than me. I'll show you what for. God damn it. Let me get electricity. Breathe. Refute this. I, oh, my brain. Hash up. Uh, don't eat me. No, no, no. Shit ton of zombies around, it's just gonna immediately. Uh, Second half of this level, um, we also introduce one of Stubbs' most powerful abilities, and that's his gut grenade. Uh, the story behind the gut grenade is that, you know, while Stubbs doesn't have guns or lasers or anything at his own uh, disposal, it was important for us to be able to give Stubbs some attack to attach, attack these uh, ranged enemies. So he pulls out one of its festering wounds and chucks it at one of the great enemies. One of the great things about uh, Stubbs, the, the thing that reanimated Stubbs, the process by which he became a zombie, is that it actually allows him to regrow certain portions of his anatomy that might disappear over the course of your unaverage zombie adventure, like a hand or an internal organ.
And if you stand still long enough, he does some things. Get your own woman! This one's taken! Technically speaking, more than once. <laughs> now I saw that side. Let me know if you see anything malfunctioning in Punchball. Yeah, will do. I'm a fix-it bot, capable of any repairs you might need. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Hey, that would be terrifying, seeing zombies just running through the tube. Sorry! 